have discussed till now so uh, we first discussed on the basic idea of symmetry uh, and then we also discussed the applications of symmetry so now in this second session we will be discussing the types of symmetry in geometry and more specifically we are going to focus on line symmetry i mean what do we mean by line symmetry how do you define the line of symmetry and what are the lines of symmetry for regular polygons so this is what i intend to cover in this session so now let's move on to the first type of symmetry that we are going to discuss which is the line symmetry so the formal definition in the textbook says that line symmetry for a figure is defined that in such a way if there is a line if there is a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide now if you remember our initial example that of a car of a building the front portion of a building and a tortoise that is what precisely we had done we had identified three figures drawn a single line and then we had tried to fold them fold the one part over the other and see whether they were coinciding or not so that is precisely what a line symmetry is now here are a few more examples from the textbook now if you see the figure number one this has the shape of a t letter and you see this line which has been drawn from here to here that is uh, which uh, divides t into two parts if i fold the left side over the right side or the right side over the left side the two parts will coincide so now this figure t is said to exhibit line symmetry and this line is called is line of symmetry similarly if we take the figure number two in this if i draw a line diagonally from this point to this point and then i can fold the figure diagonally along this line this line which we call as a line of symmetry for the figure number two so this is this figure exhibits line symmetry and has one line of symmetry now let us take the third example and this example has the letter m okay and this is the line of symmetry for letter m so when i fold this part over this part we just get this portion the half of m that is seen here and similarly if we take the fourth example here so we have this arrow and this is the line that we have drawn horizontally and which is dividing this arrow into two parts now if i straight away fold this line over this one that is i fold the upper part along this line of symmetry then we just get the half of the arrow so all these four figures are said to exhibit line symmetry and we also identified the lines of symmetry for these figures so we have discussed what do we mean by line symmetry and we have also reiterated what is the line of symmetry so having discussed that now okay one important thing which i would like you to keep in mind is that it is possible for an object or a figure to have more than one line of symmetry as we'll be observing in the next uh, session or uh, in the next topic that we'll be discussing after this one now if you see the objects the figures that we have taken all the four figures here and the earlier examples they all had one line of symmetry which simply means that there is just one line along which we if we fold the figure then they will coincide it's quite possible for us to have a figure through which we can identify multiple lines along which the figure will be exhibiting symmetry so having said that now let's go to discuss the lines of symmetry for regular polygons now the question here is what are regular polygons and let us just quickly recap so there are two important properties of regular polygons all the sides of regular polygons are of equal length and all the angles of regular polygons are of equal measure put simply regular polygons implies the sides equal length angles of equal measure the common examples of regular polygons is an equilateral triangle that has all its three sides the same a square a regular pentagon and a regular hexagon so let's see the figures here so this is a triangle which has a side of length l a all the three sides and the angle that is between the two sides of any two sides of a triangle will always be 60 degree 
So this is a regular polygon because it suits into our definition that uh, we defined earlier that all the three, all, all the sides of this polygon should be equal and the angles between any two vertices of the polygon should be equal. Now this is the another example that is the square. So all the four sides in the square, they are of equal length and the angle between the two sides of a square is 90 degree. Hence it is a regular polygon. Similarly, if we take the example of a pentagon, the pentagon is having five sides and um, all these sides are of equal length and the angle between the two sides of a pentagon is 108 degree. And our fourth example is a hexagon having six sides of equal length. You can take any number L and the angle between the two sides of a hexagon is 120 degree. So now our next discussion point is how do I find out the lines of symmetry for these regular polygons. So that's where we are to the next part. Now in order to do that, let's in order to understand the method of finding the lines of symmetry for a square. I mean, uh, yeah. So what precisely I intend to do is what we will be doing is we just take in a simple example that of a square. We establish the method of finding the line of symmetry for a square and then using that method we can derive or we can find out the lines of symmetry for the other polygons okay so now this is a square all the four sides are of equal length here and now we want to find out a line of symmetry for this regular polygon now what do we mean by finding line of symmetry again to reiterate a line of symmetry is a line along which if we fold a figure right the two paths will be coinciding with each other so let me so when we say finding lines of symmetry just try to identify the lines which satisfy this property that fold two parts and they will be equal for example this is the first one so i'm i have drawn a line exactly in the middle right which which exactly bisects the middle of the top and the bottom side now if i fold this, this square right along this line from the left to the right then these two parts will coincide so this is first line of symmetry. Now, is there any other line that I can draw by which I can still exhibit the same property of the two paths coinciding over each other? Yes, obvious one. I can have another line which is drawn horizontally as shown here. Okay, now if you fold the upper part over the bottom part, right, or the lower part, then you will see that this the, this this line right this line is also line of symmetry because this part the upper part will be coinciding over the lower part now this is the another line so in this what i need to do is we just fold it diagonally along this line so this is one another line of symmetry and then here we have one more line of symmetry so if i just need to fold it from this side to this side so now can you think of any more lines here well, I mean, it, 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 it's not possible now to, for us to find out any more lines of symmetry here. So what we have seen is that there are total four lines on a square along which if I fold a square, right, will be it exhibits line symmetry. So what we have just understood is that a square has four lines of symmetry. Now, an interesting thing to know is in order for you to understand the symmetry better, you can just try a simple experiment. Just take a square piece of paper. You can just tear it out from a newspaper or any 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 paper lying around you. Just take it and try folding it along these various lines like the perpendicular, then the horizontal and the two diagonal line and see whether what we say, do the figures, I mean, do the two parts coincide. Just try. This applies to the other figures also that we'll be discussing later on. So now let's just go ahead and see what are the lines of symmetry for the other regular polygons. So here are the lines of symmetry for the earlier four polygons that we've seen. So, uh, so this is the equilateral triangle and as you can see that it has three lines of symmetry. One, two and three. You can just try this out using a piece of paper. Then we just found out the lines of symmetry for a square. They are equal to four. And then for a regular pentagon, these are the lines of symmetry. It is best for you to try this out using a piece of paper. It's, it's very simple. All you need is a piece of paper, a scissor and maybe a ruler just to have straight lines along which you can fold. So uh, this regular pentagon has five lines of symmetry 
and the hexagon has six lines of symmetry. Now observe this very closely. Equilateral triangle, three sides, three lines of symmetry. Square, four sides, four lines of symmetry. Regular pentagon, four, five sides, five lines of symmetry. Regular hexagon, six sides, six lines of symmetry. Do you see any relation between the sides, the number of sides for a regular polygon and its lines of symmetry? And that relation is pretty straightforward. The number of lines of symmetry for a regular polygon is simply equal to the number of its sides. And you can, I mean, it, it, uh, what we have done here is that we have learned to find out the lines of symmetry for regular polygons. Try to find out a line or maybe lines of symmetry for the different shapes.